In today's video, we're covering something that I made a, a news article about. Uh, about a month ago, I talked about the ACO compiler, and it is the future of Linux gaming is, I think, my exact word, saying, hey, it's going to be able to play Windows games faster on Linux than it would Windows, which is crazy. But today, I'm installing this compiler and utilizing it. Now, in the past, I've made some videos over Path of Exile. Most people know that game, and it. most people that have actually played it using the stock Proton settings, nuz, it doesn't really play all that well. It takes a long time. The shader compiler uh, does introduce a lot of micro stutter throughout the game. And in today's video, I'm gonna utilize different techniques and we're gonna see how it affects gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna use Path of Exile as the example, but we're gonna install the ACO compiler. And then also I'm gonna be using custom Proton versions that you get to see in the future. Right now, the official Proton versions like 4.11, 4.12, something, something in that neighborhood. However, we're going to be using custom Proton versions that are 4.19 and above. So what you're going to see today will be mainstream in several months, probably around five to six months before like all your Ubuntu and, you know, those older installs really pick up the changes. Arch, you're probably going to start seeing this in the main branches in the next month or two. But I wanted to go ahead and showcase this today because it's extremely powerful. So we're going to use uh, the Mesa ACO uh, compiler, which is crazy. Valve has been working on this. And spoiler, it's pretty damn good. So uh, let's go ahead. Jump over on the desktop. We're going to install the compiler. Now, I am using Fedora, and this method works really well. But uh, know if you're on Ubuntu or an Arch-based system, you probably actually have an easier time than I'm going to have on this just because Fedora is not exactly the most popular distro out there. But that's what I'm using in this video. We're gonna install that compiler. We're gonna download some custom Proton versions so you get to see like Proton 4.19, which is gonna release in the future. And you're gonna to get to see all the performance tweaks and differences. And it is amazing. I finished the, the gameplay walkthrough here and I was just blown away of how well this works. And when I say it's the future, well, the future is now. So let's go ahead and go over the two different ways I'm going to show. You see it has a gold rating out of the box. If you don't do anything and you just install Path of Exile and just add a couple launch triggers, it's still going to stutter. It's going to be more of a bronze feel. You know, it's not going to be a gold rating game. And the gameplay I consider subpar and honestly not playable if you're an avid Path of Exile fan. So you either need to do... Mesa ACO or use like a custom um, Proton one, which I've got in some videos, but we're going to go redo this. And I'm using kind of a custom distro with a Fedora here. So uh, <laughs> mine's going to be a little bit weird, but I'm going to go ahead and install this. Now, if you're on an Arch based system like Manjaro or you're on like Ubuntu, this is going to be probably a little easier for you. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and install Mesa ACO add the repository, and then just update my system with it. Uh, depending on the distribution, your mileage will be very. It's not going to probably be exactly like this unless you're running Fedora like me. So with that, let's go ahead, flip over to um, this, and add this into our repositories, and then do an update. All right, we got that added there. I'm just checking to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. Looks good. So then we can just do a pseudo DNF update, best allow erasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for Fedora. All right, you'll see we have a lot of Mesa updates here and that is completely okay. We're gonna go ahead and erase these with glorious egg rolls version. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and accept the key here. And this should finish upgrading and installing all this and from here, we can run one more command, and I think we'll be uh, done here. 
All right, looks like we've completed our upgrade install. Um, and then let's see, this is just an upgrade. This is undoing and the changes if we needed to ever to. We don't need to. We've pretty much upgraded all of our Mesa and we now have the Mesa ACO in here. So we're done with the actual upgrade to Mesa ACO. Uh, this is pretty good, but now I could probably play the game, have a couple stutters, and it would be completely okay. However, let's go ahead and do another package. So when you're doing these packages, um, I, I look for whichever one's the best one. I think uh, this one right here is the old school way. If you didn't do much, you could do this and kind of play. That's what I talked about in the beginning there um, and get decent gameplay, but you're still going to stutter a whole bunch. But uh, you do have these infrequent stutters, which I consider a deal breaker because it'll always stutter at the worst possible time. So if we look, there's also Glorious Egg Rules Protein version 4.1, but this person says don't use any version after 4.11 for PoE. So that's something that uh, this person's probably not using Glorious Egg Rules custom checks. So we probably could use this and see a, a good bump. However, uh, there's this TK glitch that also does a really good job. And this is one that I probably would uh, install as well. With the launch options, make sure you set it to Proton, DX, Async, and Command. So there's a couple commands I'm actually going to go ahead and put in here as well uh, on top of that. But we'll flip over here, scroll down to Path of Exile, and I'm downloading some other stuff over here, so uh, please note that. And I went ahead and pushed those to the other screen. Uh, here is our launch options for Path of Exile. Um, we don't have anything in here. We're going to go ahead, put this one in here, Proton, DXBK, Async, and then Command. There's one more that I really like to use, so if we go back to our browser, um, you'll notice it right here, the wait for preload and this. I actually like to use this with it as well. Um, so let's flip back to our command and add that in there. So now we have async, we have wait for preload and all that. So it loads all the textures before actually jumping into the level, which I consider mandatory because I don't want any stutters. So we'll hit OK to that and we'll close this out now we still need to grab that original driver so let's flip back and download the tk glitch proton package which is pretty much geared specifically for path of exile so under package builds here you can go to the release section we need this right here now there's a couple things that you need to note one f audio needs to be installed there's an f audio package so if we flip over to this you can do a search for this using your package manager. It's always capital FA. So when you do the search and you'll find the F audio packages install both the 64 and the 32 bit versions here. Um, I would do lib F audio for this one. However, I think on arch inside, I did this exact same thing and it was just simply F audio using your AUR compiler. So uh, that that did work as well. So please note that. So F audio in there. And then I think it's even easier on Ubuntu as well. It's something, something along those lines. So just make sure you get the F audio package. After F audio is installed, make sure you do TK as well right here. Um, the TK package for Fedora, it is actually sudo DNF install TK. Uh, however, if uh, you're on Arch, it's also TK. If you're on Ubuntu or a Debian-based distribution, it would be the Python 3-TK for the package. So once you get those dependencies installed, depending on whatever distro you're running, um, you have pretty much all the dependencies. Now, you'll notice that this entire thing needs to go into the .steam forward slash root forward slash compatibility tools dash D. So by default, this directory does not exist. So we're going to copy this real fast, come over to our file browser, and we'll go ahead and make this uh, directory. So we'll go to steam forward slash root forward slash and look for that folder. And as you see, you don't see any folder. So let's go ahead and create that folder. And we'll just go create new folder and compatibility tools.d. It's in there now. 
and we can actually go ahead and go to our downloads and I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab for this one and go ahead and extract this whole thing and paste this in compatibility tools. So now that we have this entire thing in here and we'll go ahead and open it up, this is exactly what you should see. It's in here and we can actually go back to Steam and we're gonna exit Steam and we're gonna actually reload. So let's go ahead and exit. And then we'll just relaunch Steam. And then once we get back in here, we can go into our library and scroll down to Path of Exile. Now I also have another big game download in the background because I just did my like a gaming week. So with that, let's go down into here and go properties and then force use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Right now I have 4.11, but you'll see this new one, Proton TKG 4.19 R0. This gives us that new version. So we are now using the ACO compiler, which is something that uh, I've teased in past videos where it actually gives better performance than if you are on Windows and a lot of applications because this compiler just compiles faster than most Windows based machines. So we should see performance uh, very, very normal, uh, almost equivalent to our Windows counterpart. However, this game is not exactly the best optimized. So if it just runs seamlessly, I'll just be happy with that. So now that we have the custom tool we have the aco i mean everything about this is so darn good that we should be fine now mind you i hopefully there's there's going to be a little lo longer load times because i am downloading a 100 gig game here and then i'm doing like some custom compiler and uh, visuals for an old fan project for star wars legends uh i just kind of want to do a whole bunch of stuff so there is a little bit of side loading and some things happening uh, as far as I'm not going to give my entire system to Path of Exile. So we may see some slow load times because of that. But with that said, let's go ahead and launch in. All right. It says it's going to use the compatibility tool. Let's see if it launches. And for this one, since I am using Glorious Egg Rolls um, ACO compiler, we're going to just go back to the stock. Now, on my Archbase machine, I was using the 4.19 and I had no problem. So it's probably something with my Fedora install and it's probably maybe because I updated the drivers and I haven't rebooted yet. But let's go ahead and launch into the stock official Proton 4.11 and see what we get. All right, not looking good. Now I have noticed with this configuration, it does have a long load time because of those uh, pre-cache settings I just talked about. So it looks like it's frozen here, but it really isn't frozen. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, it does have that little bit of a long load time at the very beginning off of that logo intro. So let's go ahead, log in. And we'll go ahead and play one of my old characters here. Now, I am not seeing any audio here, so I might have messed up something during my update. Um, let's go ahead, go into options, and see if we have our sound set properly. Uh, I'll probably reboot the computer after that. It's probably the custom F audio that I'm using, and I didn't do a reboot, but well, let's go ahead and try this out with the stock one. We're gonna go to the Ravage Square just because this one has a lot more enemies. Um, so we should see a lot of like stuttering and things like that. And let's see what we get. So far, little stutters. You see the dynamic resolution kicking in here. This is about what I saw last time when using just the stock settings. But usually this clears up. And as you see, it is working a lot faster. You see just a couple stutters right when starting the map. But let's get to, go ahead and get to the very end of the square here and see uh, what we have and uh, see the performance. And also try and like uh, pause or slow down any of the stutters so you can kind of see it on your end. But overall, it's running pretty darn smooth here. Um, well, here we are at the very center of the thing. Let's see how, how many mobs we can get up. Just try and get as many uh, things on the screen as possible because it seems like the more there's a little micro stutter there barely noticeable but I could still notice it 
and uh, you can see me kind of charging around the map just to try and give you an idea. But overall, right now, even on the official custom map here, it's really, really smooth. What I'm going to probably do is go back out, grab Glorious Egg Roll's version of this. Now that I'm using pretty much all his drivers and things, I'm sure his latest and greatest uh, would probably be even better uh, using the custom kernel. So the custom kernel still, I would say if I was like avid playing this every single day, I'd want to squeeze every bit of performance I could out of this. Um, but as you see, FPS is pretty much pegged right at 60. This is only an RX 580. And uh, an RX 580 pretty much maxed at uh, 60 FPS. Like, uh, you see all these effects going off. I'm not really even doing anything. And uh, it's, it's not even missing a beat. So before, this would just be a huge problem. And the fact that we now have, like, DirectX 10, DirectX 9, um, because I think they removed the DirectX 9 capabilities where it removed all the shadows and all that in uh path of exile since my last path of exile video you see the gameplay in this one you just don't run into that at all it's just uh pretty smooth and uh i could play this very easily even on the stock kernel i may even try and just tinker a little bit more and do the glorious egg roll but for probably 99 percent of the people out there the stock kernel just with these uh mesa aco compiler would be sufficient you would just have so such good performance however if you want to squeeze that extra one percent out i would use the custom kernel from glorious egg roll as it might cut down a little bit more on that stutter uh there was a little oh uh, look at that we got a little another little stutter there so i will go ahead and get that glorious egg roll patch in there but i wanted to show both methods for today's video but with that said we'll go ahead and clean up the trash and get out of here all right and that was it for path of exile this is the two methods uh i showed you the aco where i updated the aco for my specific distro that's that new compiler that's just so darn good and then also showed you a custom kernel that didn't work actually the one i i installed didn't work with probably my new compiler uh, however I'll, I'll go back and get glorious egg rolls version um, if we go back into here you'll see glorious egg rolls protein ge custom releases this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and star it as well. Download it, because this one is pretty darn awesome. If we go into releases, um, he usually bakes in a lot of the stuff that's needed. I highly recommend it. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one, put it in there as well, and give it a whirl. All right, it is finished downloading. Let's flip over to the files, and we'll extract that here as well. You'll notice the GE designation that stands for Glorious Egg Roll, in case you've ever wondered about that. So let's finish this. It's extracting right now. And with it extracted, we're just going to take this, cut it, and paste it over into here. So Control V to paste, Control X with a cut, but I wanted to just showcase it for you guys. So we have this in here. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, we'll flip back over to Steam. Let's exit Steam and relaunch. All right, we're back into here. Let's go back down to Path of Exile and try out this uh, other kernel real fast. So we tried the stock one. I wanna just see what it would look like on the other one. So let's go down to Path of Exile and see what we get. We'll go to Properties, and then we're just gonna go Custom Kernel, and you'll see this one, the GE Glorious Egg Roll close that out and then we're going to launch into this so we saw the glitch one and then we also saw the glorious egg roll one the glitch one i can confirm works um just remember f audio and then also uh the other dependencies it has now glorious egg rolls one i know it bakes in f audio that's why it's a bigger package and i imagine this will work let's see all right we got a launch all right little it looks like it locks up this is a uh, part of that preloading i was talking about earlier that's completely okay. I could take off those arguments on the actual, after the, the percent sign command percent sign, there's a preload option I put in there that causes this effect. However, I like to leave it because I want all the textures preloaded um, before jumping in. So that's why I leave that trigger in there, but it does seem like it does lock up at the beginning. 
So we'll log back in. Got a little stutter, but that's probably the least stutter I've ever gotten going from the menu to the actual play. So let's do the exact same thing as we did last time. Load in. Uh, the docks usually has a little stutter at the start. Let's see what we get. All right, buttery smooth. Up, oh, little little micro stutter there. And we'll go back to the square, and we're going to just make our way to the square just using our, our quick travel um, shields, lands, and stuff. So let's, uh, let's move in. I, I can tell already this is smoother than the actual uh, stock kernel from Proton. So, yeah, it's... God, it's so darn buttery smooth. All right. So we're just going to make through here. I'm not even going to kill anything this time. Um, well, I say that, but just making sure that's not messing me up at all. Oh, yeah. This is this probably performs just as well as my Windows PC, if not better now. Um, and I am downloading a 100 gig game and a bunch of custom patches and other stuff in the background on this one. So the fact it is playing this well, oh man, we finally have gotten full Path of Exile with shadows, with everything, DirectX 9, 10, 11, whatever it might be. Um, before we were forcing DirectX 9 with no shadows, which uh, the developer actually took that abil ability away. So Grinding Gear Games, you couldn't do that. Um, so my prior video is no longer valid, but this one, there you go. I mean, using the new ACO compiler with the custom Proton, this is kind of what the future looks like. And if you don't want to do any of this, just wait six months and all this is going to be there. This is how good Linux game is getting. I mean, geez, I, I don't even know what to tell you. This is just blows my mind that it's it's just getting this good. Um, so when I say this is the future, it's not just me being a fanboy because honestly, I don't care if I'm using Windows, if I'm using Linux, or if I'm using Mac. I just want whatever's the best. And this right here, uh, no compiles, almost none. I got like one micro stutter as soon as I logged in the game, which honestly, I'm not even sure if that's not me downloading a 100 gig game in the background. That's how good this is. Oh, just puts a smile on my face to do the third video in the past year over kind of this game, this setup, and see how much it's come. I mean, just wow. So there we have it. That is the full new compiler, and that is also uh, the, the new Proton versions that are going to be coming out. Man, I am pumped. This is working so well. I used Path of Exile today, but I've actually used it on other games as well, and it worked just as just as good as this, and I'm just so stoked. Now, as far as the volume on uh, the Path of Exile, I, you might have noticed there was no game volume there. That was me using the window manager and getting used to all that. I actually uh, had to go back in after that video was made and change some of the default stock settings, uh, but that wasn't anything with the, the actual compiler or any of that. That was just me not selecting the proper output device so uh with that uh, no that's not an issue that's just how i recorded it but with all that said let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and as always thank you to everyone that helps this channel out without your contributions i wouldn't be able to make videos like this one and i'll see you in the next one